In this idyllic 12-acre man-made wetlands in Phoenix's West Valley, anyone can come and quietly view ducks foraging in ponds, small animals gathering food, and birds of prey hunting on a daily basis. Across the street, workers toil daily to turn more than 500 acres of open land into a larger scale version of that ecosystem restoration project. This empty basin will soon be filled with water, wildlife, and a thriving ecosystem, culminating nearly two decades of cooperation between the City of Phoenix and the Army Corps of Engineers. But what does it take to go from an expanse of open desert land to a lush green space where ducks and hawks can live together with beavers and bobcats? In a word, it's water. An average of 80 million gallons of treated wastewater per day will pass through this influent junction structure, bridging the gap between society's waste and nature's needs. The wastewater treatment facility here provides more than 160 million gallons per day of treated water. The water is not treated enough, however, to pump it directly into the river. You'd be looking at about $800 million of concrete and steel to meet the standards that will come out of the wetland system. Instead of spending $800 million, the Corps and the city invested less than $50 million. But is there a benefit of restoring an ecosystem over using a more technologically advanced way of treating water? We took flat farmland and turned it into a 520-acre ecosystem that is uh, capable of treating the water, providing habitat for different aquatic plantings, terrestrial plantings, all sorts of animals. Part of the facet that it has that gives it an advantage is exposure to the environment but also exposure to UV degradation. You throw that in with a few ducks and it's some good stuff. The Trace Rios Flow Regulating Wetlands, the largest project of its type in the world, represents a feat of sustainable engineering that will provide environmental restoration and social education for generations to come. Jay Field, Phoenix, Arizona.